What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be throwing it back a little bit. Not me personally. You know what? Let's start over. Today we're going to be taking it back to 2019 when I did my first Facebook shirts video. Now if you don't know what Facebook shirts are, it's basically those super targeted shirts you get on social media. They'll usually either have your name or your birth date. Something that is just for you. Or maybe it's the type of profession you're in. I see a lot of welding and trade jobs represented on these shirts. There's a certain type of person that indulges in these shirts and it's kind of like how old people trust anything they see on the computer because it's on the computer. It's official. It's on a screen, damn it. Just like the people that like these shirts see something on a shirt and they think, wow, someone made this just for me. Totally not some random algorithm used to make money off of me. Now, the reason I'm doing a second one is because I've had a lot of people send me the exact same shirt. I've even seen it myself on my feed, if I can find it here. It's nothing extraordinary either. I've just been seeing it make the rounds for some reason. Yes, I'm a spoiled boyfriend, but not yours. I'm the property of a freaking awesome girlfriend. She's a bit crazy and scares me sometimes but she is the perfect mixture of sunshine and hurricane. I love her so much, and she is my life. Now this last sentence is not written well. I'm just gonna say that. If you mess with me, and she'll destroy you faster than a Category 5 hurricane. Yes, she bought me that shirt. That doesn't make it better. It never does. It's almost always worse that someone buys the shirt when the shirt is filled with shit about them. <laughs> That's how, the best way I can say it. So now let's get into the shirts that I have hand selected for this video today. Starting with one that's not even a shirt. It's a Facebook blanket. I even legitimately saw this on my Facebook feed. Someone I'm friends with wanted it. To my girlfriend, I love you means that I accept you for the person that you are and I don't wish to change you into something else. That's a lot of reading, we're not gonna do that. You get the gist of it though. I absolutely do not want this as a gift ever. <laughs> hey, a blanket. I've been needing one of these for the living room. <laughs> hey, open it huh? up, read it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh dear, you've gone and done this now, haven't you? Why? This next one, if I ever have a wife and she wears this to a barbecue, I'm just simply not going. Sorry I'm late, my husband had to poop. Hashtag wife life. Honey, you ready to go? Hey, it's gonna be a second, I, I, I gotta shit so bad. Just a few minutes, okay? All right, fair enough. I'm gonna wear the shirt though. Why are you doing this? It was your idea to have mac and cheese for dinner last night. You know I have a lactose sensitivity. This next one has to be one of the worst when it comes to having micro text on the shirt. Claudia. Completely unexplainable. Notices everything, but won't say it. Yada yada yada, yada yada yada. Lives by her very own way. A warrior's mentality with a poet's soul. Not a fighter, but will knock your lights out. That's what a fighter would say. Now, just like in the first video, I'm trying my hardest to wean out all of the obviously fake and satirical ones. Even though those ones are funny, I'm trying to find the ones that people would actually wear. Because that's the fun part, just like it is in any other situation. Making fun of people. And on that note, this next one is definitely real. Got the kids all in the back, passing out some snacks. Messy bun intact, got the black leggings to match. Now we're getting into one of my favorite, the trade worker shirts. Death smiles at everyone. Carpenters smile back. Yeah, I bet they do. Death walks in the door and sees a carpenter, you know what he's thinking. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that you make shelves. You always see a lot of carpenters and welders. I don't have any welder ones today, but there was a plethora in the last video, so go watch that if you haven't. This next one's one of my favorites for a few reasons. Number one, just like the last one, it's an in-public sighting. So you know for sure, someone's wearing it. I'm a grumpy old man. I was born in August. I'm too old to fight, too slow to run. I'll just shoot you and be done with it. Now, number two why I like this shirt is this man seems to be wearing his murder shirt right there on the sidelines of some child sports event. Funny enough, the rest of these are going to be in public sightings as well. I'm a laborer because I don't mind hard work. If I wanted to do something easy, I'd call your sister. Now, already, that's hilarious. I couldn't write something that funny even if I tried, so I'm not going to. And it's almost poetic that he's just buying a two liter of Mountain Dew and a piece of cake from the gas station. There's no doubt in my mind he's going to consume all of that tonight. I don't have a stepdaughter. I have a freaking awesome daughter who happened to be born before I met her. She's stubborn, messy, and a brat at times. So far, not that flattering for the daughter. She's clumsy, loud, and a bit silly sometimes. Is this gonna say anything good about her? <laughs> but in my eyes, she's the definition of perfection and beauty. Mess with her and they'll never find your body. Yes, she bought me this shirt. Mess with her and they'll never find your body. Dude, they will find my body before they're done reading this goddamn shirt. I'm tired of them being 
so long. I don't feel like I found enough of these for this video, so in finding a few more, I found something different. A Facebook tattoo. Don't underestimate me. I can go from lady to batshit crazy in two seconds. That must be what happened when you had the idea to get this goddamn monstrosity on your upper back. I know I said I didn't want to do any ones that are obviously jokes or satirical, but this one's just funny as fuck. Never underestimate a dental assistant who does all things through Christ, who strengthens her. I'm so stuffed with a little turkey. It's cute, right? She's pregnant. It's Thanksgiving time. Nothing wrong with this shirt. Until you see the fucking shirt that goes with it. <laughs> I made the stuffing. This is just a gross ass joke disguised in something cute and harmless. Yep, we're expecting. Yeah, and I totally dumped a load inside of her. <laughs> and I know what you guys are thinking. Chris, I want to see one that's just completely problematic, has no comedic value whatsoever, and generally, just fucked up. And don't worry, I've got you covered. Being worn by a Denver police officer, we get up early to beat the crowds. Now folks, it's one thing to abuse your power and just beat the shit out of people, but it's another to wear a t-shirt bragging about doing it. What an awful fucking thing to do. Really. Alright guys, I think we can squeeze one last one in. I'm a drywaller. I love freedom. I drink beer. And I like boobs. I own guns. I protect my family. If you don't like it, move. Nothing to do with the shirt, but this guy's ass is just sucking up those jorts. <laughs> God damn. Wow, what a pimp shirt. You know, I kind of wish there were more shirts with my name on them. The best I was able to find was this lame ass shirt here. I'm Chris doing Chris things. How lame is that shit? <laughs> it's not even funny bad. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy coming on this journey with me looking at some god awful shit, really. <laughs> if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and give it a like rating down below. It lets me know you enjoyed the video and it helps them out a ton. If you're new here and you do enjoy the videos, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of my uploads. With that being said, thank you guys again for watching and I will See you next time. Goodbye.